Hello guys, how are we doing today? Welcome back to our channel and welcome to this video. I don't believe you're doing good, I don't believe you're doing great. In this video, we're going to be doing an analysis of GBP USD and what to expect from the market this week. In case you just come across our videos, in case you just come across our channel, I want to say welcome, it's good to have you. What you want to do right now is click on the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell because we release videos like this almost every day, letting our viewers know what to expect from the market per time and you don't want to miss out on any of such videos. Before we get into the business of this video, let's say a bit about our last analysis of GBPUSD. When we did that analysis, the market was here, and we did say that there were two possibilities that were likely to play out in the market. Even though we also said that we tilted more towards um, one of those possibilities, but we also said we have to be open to the second possibility because the market actually presented two possibilities so um this was where the market ended um two weeks ago so when we did that analysis we did say that after the market has broken out of this resistance region which will now turn support and retested it we expected to see a bullish reversal candlestick pattern around here and when that occurs then we'll be going bullish now, Monday and Tuesday were doges. They all ended as doges. Then, Wednesday, the market was also ranging until the time of um, the news, which was Fed's fund rate that on USD, um, Fed's fund rate, um, FOMC minutes, FOMC statement, and all of those news occurred um, at about around the same time. Then, we had um gbp usd buy this much then on thursday the market started selling then when the news on um, unemployment claims was released it sold more significantly so um we did say that two possibilities there was possibility for a buy and there was also possibility for a sell and you can see um, both of them actually played out we had the market buy at this time then after that we had the market sell quite significantly so if you were able to get in on either or both of that i want to say congratulations to you now let's start our analysis on the monthly time frame on the monthly time frame we can see um gbp usd had sell down to this region then it started buying and it bought up to this region uh, which was july last year then it ended as an inverted pin bar then we said it's going to sell which is sold down here it made this doji and we did say it's going to buy and it bought up to this region and since then it has been ranging around here then this is the month of march we can see it is currently a doji having bought this much bought and um, broke out of this resistance region and right now we can see it has sold back into the resistance region so at the moment it's a doji now let's consider the weekly time frame. On the weekly time frame, we can see the market sold um, down to this region, bought and got to this resistance region. It has been ranging here for uh, several weeks. You can see that here. Then it was three weeks ago, it finally broke out of that region. For the first time, we can see a candlestick closing above this resistance region. And the next candle ended as a bearish candle, making this a bearish arami which was the major reason why we said that there was also a possibility of a sell in the next week, which was last week. And we can see that that played out. So the market ended as a bearish candle last week. And at the 10 day simple moving average is about to cross over the candlestick. Now let's consider the daily time frame. On the daily time frame, we can see the market having bought up to this region, sold down here, bought a bit and sold again. So the last candlestick on the daily time frame is a bearish candle with um, a longer lower week than the upper week. And let's consider the four hours time frame. On the four hours time frame, we can see the market sold um, down to this region, bought a bit and sold down here. Then we can also see the last candlestick on the four hours time frame is a small pin bar. And before that is a bearish candle and before that is another pin bar. Okay, that's not exactly a pin bar, but it looks very much like a pin bar. In fact, some people would like to consider this a pin bar. What this means is that the bulls have started 
showing intentions to come into the market and we can see our first bullish intention the bears came in and this the second bullish intention so that's what happened in the market last week what do we expect from the market this week now pay attention on the four hours time frame we can see the market has got into the oversold region you can see the rsi here and we can also see that the bulls are start showing intention to come into the market um, then the daily time frame or we can see the market sold um, quite significantly it ended as a bearish candle but it has a lower week like we said it is showing that the bulls have started coming into the market then the weekly time frame ended as a bearish candle that's what we can see it ended as a bearish candle and the 10 day simple moving average is about to cross another the candlestick you can see that there so considering the weekly time frame we can see that the bears are in control of the market right now and the 10 day simple moving average about to cross over the candlestick is a bearish entry trigger which means that the market will sell this week but considering the four hours time frame and daily time frame <clears throat> we can say that um the rsa of the four hours time frame has gotten the, to the vessel region and we can see bullish intention here so we could say that the market will buy a bit for a while perhaps till this region perhaps till this other region it could also want to retest this resistance region properly either way it's, it's going to buy a bit from when it opens and um when it gets to perhaps this region it will make a bearish reversal candlestick pattern and then it will sell by then it should that's when it buys it's likely to come in contact with the 10 day simple moving average on the weekly time frame in fact i will advise that we look out for that <coughs> pardon me i advise that we look out for when it will come in contact with the 10 day simple moving average on the weekly time frame when that occurs you should expect a sell so um by then on the four hours time frame you look out for a bearish reversal candlestick pattern and when that occurs then we'll look forward to a sell now pay attention so the market will sell and perhaps um come to this region perhaps it could go below this region it could come below this region that's this low i'm talking about now pay attention this is what i think is tricky looking at the monthly time frame remember that before now we've said that gbp usd is on an uptrend making series of higher highs and higher lows so this we called or we consider the first significant higher high this is the uh, first significant higher low and we've been anticipating the next significant higher high then it has ranged here ever since it bought from here it has been ranging here for several months now and right now we can see the month of march which actually gave us um hope confirming our position of the higher high about to happen after it um but above this resistance region right now it is a bearish candle so if the market closes we also remember that this week is the last trading week of the month of march or the last week of the month of march so if we have the market sell this week and perhaps we have good volume and it closes below the 10 day simple moving average on the monthly time frame then we will anticipate a sell we should expect the market to sell more in fact if this um candlestick the monthly candlestick ends as a shooting star which it is projecting right now if it ends as a shooting star then there's possibility for the market to sell more in subsequent months but if when it sells still within this week we see bullish rejection and it ends either as a doji or as a small a small bullish candle with lower and with upper and lower weeks then there's possibility that um, the next month the market will buy again so this um week is likely to decide what will happen to gbp usd after now so um like i said at the moment the market is projecting a sell and um of course like we said it's going to retrace a bit before it finally sells but if the sells the sell is quite significant then we know that subsequent week will be bearish and the market is likely to come back 
to this region within the month of April. It's likely to come back to this region. So that's what we're expecting from GBP USD within this week and beyond this week. Um, if you have a different opinion, you can use the comment section. If you have any question, you can also use the comment section. I would be glad to have a conversation with you. Like we always say, trading is a highly risky endeavor. You don't venture into trading without proper knowledge. If you know you don't have sufficient knowledge about trading, don't take this trade. You can watch this video for educational purpose and it's going to serve you better than risking your heart and money in something you don't fully understand. If you want to get our Forex course, which is a complete guide on how to trade the financial market, it covers beginners to advanced lessons. It has 30 videos and 3 ebooks, including my book Trading Without Tears. I strongly recommend this course for anybody who is just starting out in the Forex space or someone who is yet to find his way around the financial market. So if you want to get this course, check the description of this video. You're going to see a link where you can get a Forex course. And if you want to subscribe for Signal Service, we will give proper entry, stop loss and take profit. Check the description of this video. You're going to see a link where you can subscribe for Signal Service. And if you want to get a copy of my book, Trading Without Tears, check the description of this video. You're going to see a link where you can get the soft copy. If you want the hard copy, send us a direct message to any of our social media handles. You can find our social media handles in the description of this video. Tell us the location or tell you the cost of shipping it. Once your payment is confirmed, you have the book delivered to you. So that's it from us on this video. I hope you got value. See you in the next video. Bye for now.